Oh, sorry, I just saw it. It's, it's in stuck below gold too. It's actually disgusting. Well, okay, my, my my recommendation to you would be, are you, like, do you see how much I'm clicking? Like, can you do this? Can you stay in place while you do this? Like, consistently? Both ways? You know, like, you know, down bottom left to top right, top right to bottom left. Can you do this? Are you sure you can do this? Are you sure you're doing this in game? Can you go into a custom game and auto it, like, put a dummy down, auto it, and then click twice, click it again, every, just literally go into training modes, Auto dummies and look, look, know your auto attack cool and do it with different attack speeds and get as many clicks as you can in between the auto attack cooldown as you can because that's really important as AD carry to be able to like move in between like move on command in between auto attacks because you need to be like you know if I if I if I see an Ari coming at me I'll auto and then when I auto she's gonna think I'm focused on something else so I'll auto and I'll immediately click away to like dodge or I'll auto and I'll go like this down and then back up because you know when she's when I auto and she sees me move down she's gonna throw her charm at me more downwards most of the time so you know you can try to like influence that there's a lot more to it than that but like a lot of people in gold or lower think they can or say they can or even platinum but they really like in truth truthfully that it it doesn't look good when I watch them do it Misclicking a lot, uh, fuck my minion. Uh, misclicking a lot, or just not getting as many clicks in between. Not able to command their like movements very well. They tend to just like click one time, click up here, click, 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 click. You should be fucking perma clicking. Like fuck, I need to just download. What's the pro? Like, it, uh, Overwolf's a good program for APM, right? I actually want to download APM just to see how much I right click a game. I should really do that so I can show you guys I feel like I just don't do it in game enough I think yeah Pro probably not you can never click too much in game seriously that should be the mentality you take because at first it's hard to click a lot but it just becomes muscle memory it's literally like a lot of league is just building the muscle memory so when you play a new champion the reason that you should play the same champion or like one trick champions is because you build muscle memory on like executing that champs abilities and sometimes that muscle memory does you harm. Like, for example, the, the guy I'm talking about with 20 sessions, he plays Tristana, and he's kind of built up the muscle memory where whenever he sees an engage, he just jumps on them automatically. But, for example, today he was against a... Uh, today he was against um, a Lulu Kogma, and he was Leon... Uh, or Blitzcrank Tristana. And what he did one time, or twice, actually, or maybe it was even three times, but twice, he, they, were, they, they won, they stomped. But he died a few times that he, when he didn't need to because... He would jump onto the Kogma as soon as Blitzcrank like got the knockup. But what he didn't realize was, he, yes, you're jumping, you're doing damage with the jump. What happens is now Lulu's in range of you to polymorph you. So, but if he just doesn't jump in, then he can hit Kogma while Lulu's back here, Kogma's here, and he's over here, and he can hit Kogma without Lulu being in range to W or to exhaust. So he just had the muscle memory of like, okay, engage means I need to jump. But it's like, you, you don't at that point. Because especially once you hit like level 7 on Tristana, your jump actually isn't worth the damage. Because you actually lose damage. Um, so if you, if you jump, you do like, let's say level 1 jump is like 70 damage or something, right? So you're jumping to do 70 damage. But in the time you're jumping, you could have autoed once or twice more. Which at that point is more than 77 damage. So actually, e Wing them for the damage isn't worth it anymore. Unless it's like a guaranteed, like there's no threat to you if you jump in. And he would just do this like oh, you know, multiple times. He just like if he was fighting Cog one v one, he could he was at the point where he did Infinity Edge and Boots, and he could just auto the Cog to death. But he'll still jump at him. But that just loses his deep loses him DPS because the jump, you know, the time it takes to jump is is more time than an auto attack. So you know, like with Jinx, I can auto W auto. Sorry, I didn't mean to actually press W. I just said W. Uh. You can do auto W auto and you're actually like canceling your auto cooldown basically with the W because there's no down like the cast time of the W is about the cooldown of the auto attack, right? If you consider your auto attack a cooldown. But Trisana's jump is a longer animation and depending on how far you go, you're actually just like slowing yourself down. And that's something that people really don't like weigh the options of when they're in the moment. And it's easy in hindsight to see that, but like in the moment you're just like, oh, engage means jump. Like KQ late game loses DPS. Yeah, so the only time you should really Q on Kaylin late game is if it's like they're really they're running out of your range and you're finishing them off. If you're poking um, and they're not in your range yet. Or if you're EQing them in the middle of a fight, which at that point it's almost worth it literally just to E auto attack and start autoing. Or like E auto W. But yes, exactly like Qing with Caitlyn in late game. 
because the cast time of the queue of, of Caitlyn's uh, or the cast time of Caitlyn's queue is lo about is longer or about the same as the auto attack the rate like would take. So you're actually just locking yourself in place to queue someone for less damage than your crit will do. Um. And you're also making yourself a very easy target when you lock yourself in place with Caitlyn's Q. So exactly, that's a good ex that's a good ex good example as well. And like, there's literally stuff like that, or like playing around. Like, also what I told him to do and what he wouldn't do is, or not sorry, I shouldn't say what he wouldn't do. What he didn't do at first was, you know, Blitzcrank's getting autoed by Kogma, who has W and lethal tempo proccing, and he walks in to help the Blitzcrank, who's who's autoing uh, or getting autoed by Kogma. But what happens now is. Yes, most of the time your support gets auto, you want to hit them, but in that kind of matchup, what's going to happen if you walk into range to hit him when he's hitting Blitzcrank? Well, Blitzcrank's not, still not able to do anything because Hook's maybe already in cooldown or you're too low. Okay, Kogma just turns on you and throws three autos at you and you lose that trade now because Kogma's W and lethal tempo proccing is like untradeable. So you should wait for the w, Kogma's W and lethal tempo to go on cooldown, and then you can like jump. That's like a six second window now to jump in, especially if Lulu. Had you, it's more than six seconds, but especially if Lulu had had used her W to buff Kogma. So as soon as you see that, you run the fuck away. And then when the uh, lethal tempo and W are on cooldown, as well as Lulu's W, especially, that means you can actually jump on Kogma because he has no damage and Lulu's polymorphs down, so you can, there's no like counter to you. So like playing around those cooldowns is really really important too. Which like once I pointed out, the rest of the game he was very good about like waiting for it. There was just like maybe one time after we pointed out like that he's like it's just like built into him to like just jump at that enemy it's or like a lot of time i tell people when i'm coaching them like if you see your the support hitting your support like if leona engages on your blitzcrank that usually means that you should be looking to hit their ad carry because their ad carry will look to hit the person that their leona went on which would be your support and then you don't want to hit leona you want to save everything for the uh ad carry um but in situations like that like you're, you're losing the trade no matter what until um lulu's polymorph is off or kogma's cooldowns are up so, I hope that made sense. It's kind of hard because I'm also CSing, so I don't know if I like brushed over something too fast or not enough. Um, and I'll look at the chat in a second. Sorry, I need to 